Hey bitches, what's up? So since it's springtime, I figured we'd go ahead and do a pastel colored cut crease today. And what I am using all over my face is the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. What I'm doing is I'm just massaging that very well into my face so my skin does not get dry throughout the day. What I'm applying next is the Signature Club AC Rapid Transport C Infused Face Tightener Serum with Tenses Up. And what I'm doing is I'm massaging that right underneath my eyes. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera just because I want to go ahead and make another tutorial video specifically for my eyebrows. What I'm priming my eyelids today with is the LA Colors Conceal Correct. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out and around my eyelids with my fingertip. And go ahead and make sure it is blended fully so there are no streaks left on or around your eyelids. What I'm going to be using next to make sure that conceal does not crease whatsoever throughout the day is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the color Banana. I'm just going to go ahead and use a beauty blender I have and I'm going to be putting that baking powder all over wherever I put my concealer so it stays put and it makes it easier to blend eyeshadows. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is the first edition 120 color eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. And the first color I'm going to be using is this beautiful teal green and I'm just going to be applying that on top of my crease near the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just going to make sure it is blended out as much as I would like it to be and we're going to continue. The next color I'm going to be using is this very hot pink. We're just going to be blending that right next to that teal green in the middle of the crease. And I'm just making sure that it is blended until I am satisfied with so. The next color I will be using is this very pretty purple color. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just blending this on the outer V corner of my eyelid right next to the hot pink color I just blended out. I'm not too concerned right now about the messiness just because I'm about to go clean it up. So I'm going to be cleaning it up with the same LA Colors Conceal Correct and I'm just going to be going ahead and getting a flat makeup brush and I'm going to start forming the crease. So since I have hooded eyes, what I like to do is I like to make sure that the crease goes a little over my actual eyelid crease so it, you can see the crease whenever my eyes are open and it doesn't all of a sudden tuck in and hide away. Now that the crease is starting to form, what I like to do is I like to just go back over it and really get out all those imperfections and make sure that crease is nice and straight and there is nothing wrong with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to that baking powder and put that over the crease I just created so it stays put. Now I'm grabbing a lower lash eyeshadow blending brush and I'm just dipping it into those three eyeshadow colors that I'm using above my crease and I'm just putting a little bit more of each eyeshadow color so the colors really pop. Now I'm going back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm grabbing this orange and I'm going to go ahead and place this on my eyelid. Whenever I apply it on my eyelid, I like to make sure that it has a nice little wing and it kind of connects with the purple at its tail. I have no idea why I've just been so into pastel colors lately, but they are so beautiful together and I just can't get enough of them. After I finish applying the orange eyeshadow onto the base of my eyelid, I just want to go ahead and put some glitter on my eyelid as well to give it that extra pop. The glitter I'm using on my eyelid is the NYX Face and Body Glitter Brilliance in the color GLI04. My go-to glitter primer is the NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Primer. It is the most amazing glitter primer I have ever used and it really does the job very well. What I like to do is I like to grab the glitter primer with a flat makeup brush. I like to put a little bit on top of the orange eyeshadow just so I can have a nice layer before I add the glitter. Before I add the glitter, I do like to wait about 30 seconds just so the glitter primer can get a little bit tacky and it is easier for the glitter to stay intact. Whenever I apply the glitter, I do like to pat it on just to make sure it is sticking and it does not fall on my face throughout the day. 
glitter really is my most favorite part of makeup so I really kind of like to add a couple of layers just so it can be extra sparkly. After applying the glitter what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be applying my eyeliner. Now the eyeliner I am using today is just some liquid eyeliner I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I know what some of you guys are thinking that that I am totally crazy for using a dollar store eyeliner. But let me tell you, this eyeliner is pretty damn good, not gonna lie. And like my eyebrows, I do want to make a separate tutorial video on how I create my winged look. So I will definitely let you guys know whenever I make that tutorial video. And after I am finished with my eyeliner, I'm just going ahead and cleaning up any excess with the LA Colors Conceal Correct. The mascara I'm going to be applying on my eyelashes today is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara. Now let me tell you guys, this mascara is so awesome. Everybody and their grandma needs to be using this mascara. That's how amazing it is. I currently only have the sample size, so I'm definitely going to have to go to my nearest Ulta location and buy the actual size. I'm not kidding guys, this mascara is just magical. My eyelashes, I, they're very short. I do have a lot of layers, but whenever I apply this mascara, I feel like there's spider legs on my eyes. It is so insane. I'm not necessarily a makeup artist that likes to put falsies on my eyelashes, although I do know I need to at times, but with this mascara, I feel like sometimes I just don't need even falsies. Now for my lower lash eyeshadow color, I wanted to use a kind of pastel-y blue color. So I went ahead and went to the same palette I am using and got a blue from that. Now the highlight I am using for under my eye is the LA Colors Highlight I Love Makeup Glowing Skin Pocket Face Palette. I am also using this on the inner corner eye area and I did get this palette from the dollar store. I know what you guys are saying, but damn, the dollar store really is upping their game with the makeup products. The foundation I am applying to my face is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Sunscreen. And the shade I am using today is the Light Medium Sand. After I finish distributing the foundation all over my face, I like to grab my beauty blender and blend it all out so there are no streaks or any imperfections. I also like adding foundation to my ears and on my neckline. Now let me tell you guys, this is my all-time favorite go-to foundation. This is the most amazing foundation I have ever used in my entire life. It, is, it fits so nicely on my face and it does not cause any problems throughout the day. It is the perfect amount of full coverage and it really adjusts well with my skin type which is oily and a little bit of dry. After I fully blend my foundation on my face, I like to go back with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and I do put that all over my face on top of the foundation so it bakes and it gives it a perfect matte setting. For my bronzer slash contour, I am going to be using the Laura Geller Blush and Glow in the color Tropic Hues slash Tahitian Glow. I'm grabbing an angled blending brush and I am using the bronzer side of it and I am really chiseling out my cheeks to give it that slimmer look. After I'm satisfied with how my cheeks look, I'm going to go ahead and do my jawline and on my forehead as well. To finish contouring, I'm going to go back and grab that blush and I'm going to be applying that on top of my cheekbones. I prefer not to use a ton of blush just because whenever I'm embarrassed, my face gets really red anyways. So I kind of just do it very lightly. For my highlight, I'm going to be grabbing the LA Colors Pocket Palette once again. And I'm telling you guys, this highlight is awesome. It is the bomb.com. I mean, oof, look at that, you guys. I just apply that on my cheekbones on top of that blush. And I like to put it on my lips as well. So whenever I'm applying lipstick on my lips, it kind of does give that little shine in the middle of my lips. Now I honestly cannot tell you guys what color or what brand my lipstick is from just because I like to keep things small and compact and I put all my lipsticks in little compact containers. The shade I am going to be using is a kind of dark pink color today. 
and I'm just going to start by overlining my lips just a little bit and then I'm going to fill the inside of it. Doing lips was always an extreme difficulty of mine, but now that I have been practicing and practicing, I am more confidently applying darker shades on my lips just because I am finally realizing how beautiful it can look. After I'm done applying my lipstick, I just go ahead and grab some rose water I made myself and I spray that all over my face, kind of really get it to soak in and then I'm finished. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my video. I know this is a first time video and I'm not that good at it, but I'm going to continue practicing and I'm going to be continuing posting videos for you guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I can never be any more grateful. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.